So we're gonna remove this water pump. It's making some noises. So you're gonna to have to remove all these bolts. There's quite a few of them all underneath here. There's quite a few. In addition, you gotta to have to remove the upper to remove this plate. So you get access to this whole front up part of the engine. Okay, so we removed the water pump and the backing plate and uh, we're going to be doing the injection pump as well the, and we'll clean up with the blade the razor blade will clean all this up get it all nice and clean and this is what it looks like from the back side it's got these pl uh, bolts that you have to remove to get rid of or to replace the pump so you got your pump, it's got a couple bolts on the back side to replace it with. So that needs to be all cleaned up. And this is what the pump looks like. We got a new, new GM pump, Wham General Pump. And you can see the back of it has a couple bolts that it uh, bolts to the plate. And next we'll be doing the fuel pump. So now that we've sanded uh, this front plate, engine plate, just sand it with 120, both sides, get it nice and clean. So the next step is gonna be install the gasket. It's one of these ways. Uh, this way, this way. We'll figure it out. We'll put this gasket on here. And then we'll put uh, the water pump and bolt it all up together. So now we, we've done gasket maker. We've done the gasket maker on both sides of the gasket. It's a little overdone, kind of thick, but uh, we'll clean it up uh, as we put this and clean it up after we've tightened everything down. We'll temporarily put couple bolts in just to uh, locate it so we can eventually flip it over and tighten the three bolts four bolts on the other side the back side there we go so I'm just gonna set them in there we go And torque as required, you're just uh, going to have to look it up. I have a table that I use um, for the torque specs. I need to look at that in a few minutes. And we'll just keep tightening this as we go. Okay, so this is the spec for all the different uh, torques on the Humvee. So you could see on the plate uh, water pump bolts 17 on the on the bottom and then on the outsides of 32 so we're gonna go for it 17 Now that we have a torque, we're going to put a gasket maker on the front here, and that way we can 
go ahead and install it on the front of this it was nice and clean but before we put this plate on we're going to pull the injection pump and replace it and these are the three bolts for the injection pump and I put grease on this so it doesn't fall out and fall in the engine we've put silicone on the back side of the water pump plate now we're going to insert it we've already cleaned this with brake cleaner Now it's just a matter of lining up the holes. And uh, screwing them in. And then we gotta torque all these down. making some progress all in one day it's nice and warm today 100 degrees under a, a pepper tree will help out do less talking and more work okay, so we're making some progress the plates on water pumps in now we just gotta tighten all these screws one by one there's a couple there's two underneath here there's two underneath there's a couple on this side. I've already wire wheeled all these screws, bolts, and uh, we just gotta insert them, torque them, and then we're done here. And then I'll paint it uh, black, an engine satin black, and um, I spray canned the turbo. That gives me another 20 horsepower. Makes it a little faster and idle better. We're making progress today. After we go back and forth, we'll torque all these down. Fancy uh, internet book that I have says 32. And these uh, smaller ones were 17. Go back and forth, crisscross. Make sure it's all tightened. Okay, we're doing 17. We've done 32 on the bigger ones. Underneath here. Let's see if we can do this. Yep. Now we're going to put this uh, breather cover. It's got a nut here. Not on that side. It's got two nuts.
We'll tighten these down, clean them up, paint it, and it'll look nicer than what it is.